The soft hum of the coffee maker filled the spacious kitchen as Maria sifted through the morning mail. The sunlight streaming through the window bathed the room in a warm glow, a deceptive tranquility that masked the impending storm. Her eyes widened as they landed on the ominous letter with a familiar handwriting. What's this, William? Maria called out, her voice carrying a mix of curiosity and concern. William sauntered into the kitchen, a nonchalant smile masking the turmoil within. Ah, just some paperwork, Maria. Don't worry about it. With a furrowed brow, Maria opened the letter, her eyes scanning the words that felt like a punch to the gut. The realization hit her like a tidal wave. You sold our home. To your parents. William leaned against the kitchen counter, feigning innocence. Well, they needed a place, and it seemed like the right thing to do. Besides, we're heading for a divorce. The room fell silent, the weight of his words hanging in the air. Maria's heart pounded, and she clutched the letter tightly. A divorce? Why was I not part of this decision? What about us, William? He chuckled dismissively. We've drifted apart, Maria. It's time for a change. You'll find somewhere else to stay. The shock lingered, turning Maria's disbelief into anger. After all these years, is this how it ends? You're kicking me out of our home. William's tone turned icy. It's my decision, Maria. This is what's best for both of us. The room echoed with the heaviness of betrayal. Maria, once secure in the sanctuary of her home, now faced an uncertain future. As the truth settled in, she looked at William, the man she thought she knew, with a mix of hurt and defiance. This is not what's best for me, William. And we'll see about that divorce. In the days that followed the shocking revelation, Maria found herself reflecting on the gradual transformation of her husband, William. The memories of their once loving relationship now mingled with the echoes of his changing demeanor. As Maria sifted through old photographs in the dimly lit living room, William entered with an air of detachment. His once vibrant eyes now seemed distant, and his smile lacked the warmth that had initially drawn her to him. You've changed, William, Maria remarked, her gaze lingering on a picture of them at their favorite vacation spot. He shrugged, feigning indifference. People change, Maria. It's part of life. The silence hung between them, heavy with unspoken truths. Maria couldn't shake the feeling that there was more to his transformation than mere life changes. Their evenings, once filled with laughter and shared dreams, had become moments of tense silence. William's demands grew, and his once considerate nature vanished. One evening, as Maria prepared dinner, his voice cut through the air with a commanding tone. Sally, hurry up and prepare the dinner. I'm starving. Maria, taken aback, looked at him with a mix of surprise and disappointment. William, why are you speaking to me like this? We used to be partners. His dismissive laughter reverberated through the kitchen. Partners. You're my housemaid, always demanding things. The change in behavior became more apparent as William's preferences became erratic. One day, he complained about the tomato soup being too strong, prompting Maria to adjust the flavor. The next day, he criticized it for lacking flavor. Frustration etched on her face, Maria confronted him. This isn't about the taste, is it? What's going on, William? He dismissed her concerns with a wave of his hand. You just can't get anything right, can you? As time passed, William's anger intensified, and verbal abuse became a daily occurrence. Maria couldn't fathom what had caused such a drastic shift in her husband. One evening, after enduring a torrent of insults, she confronted him. What happened to the gentle and considerate man I married, William? His response was cold and detached. Things change, Maria. Get used to it. As Maria delved deeper into the past, she couldn't shake the feeling that there was more beneath the surface, 
a hidden truth that had led to the deterioration of their once harmonious relationship. As Maria grappled with the changing dynamics of her relationship with William, she sought refuge in her passion for handmade accessories. Her small workshop, adorned with vibrant beads and crafting materials, became a haven from the storm brewing in her personal life. One evening, as she delicately crafted a necklace, a sense of calm washed over Maria. The rhythmic movements of her hands and the creative process allowed her to momentarily escape the turmoil that awaited her at home. Her friend Olivia, who shared Maria's love for crafting, visited the workshop. Maria, there's something therapeutic about creating something with your own hands, isn't there? Maria smiled, the beads clicking softly against each other. Absolutely, Olivia. It's a sanctuary where I find solace. Embracing her newfound passion, Maria decided to turn her hobby into a profession. She started teaching handmade accessories, sharing her joy with others who sought refuge in the art of creation. During one of her classes, a student named Sarah expressed gratitude. Maria, this class has been a lifesaver. It's more than just crafting its therapy for the soul. Maria nodded, understanding the sentiment. I'm glad it brings you joy, Sarah. It's been my anchor through turbulent times. As Maria spent more time immersed in her creative pursuits, the weight of her troubled relationship with William began to lift. The workshop became a space where she could regain control and find purpose. One day, William, noticing the change in Maria's demeanor, questioned her newfound dedication. Why waste your time with these trinkets, Maria? It won't solve our problems. She met his gaze with unwavering determination. It's not about solving our problems, William. It's about finding myself again. Despite William's dismissive attitude, Maria continued to invest her time and energy into her handmade crafts. The act of creation became a metaphorical bridge to a new chapter in her life. As she taught her students the intricacies of crafting, Maria found a community that understood the healing power of handmade art. The camaraderie and shared passion fueled her determination to break free from the toxicity of her marriage. In her workshop, surrounded by the tangible fruits of her labor and the support of like-minded individuals, Maria began to forge a path toward a future defined by self-discovery and independence. Maria, determined to break free from the toxic clutches of her failing marriage, decided to craft a meticulous exit plan. As the weight of her troubled relationship with William bore down on her, she found solace in the careful execution of her strategy. Late one evening, after ensuring William was occupied elsewhere in the house, Maria discreetly installed surveillance cameras. Her nimble fingers worked with precision, concealing the devices strategically to capture every move without arousing suspicion. In a hushed conversation with Olivia, she revealed her plan. I need evidence, Olivia. Something concrete to show the truth of what's been happening. Olivia, empathizing with her friend, nodded in understanding. Maria, you're doing the right thing. No one should endure what you've been through. With the cameras in place, Maria began documenting the subtle manipulations and intrusions by William and his parents. Each piece of evidence became a thread in the tapestry of her liberation. One evening, as Maria reviewed the footage, Olivia joined her, concern etched on her face. Maria, this is gut-wrenching. But it's crucial for your freedom. Stay strong. As Maria continued to gather evidence, she overheard a conversation between William and his parents about the house. Their intentions became clear as they discussed plans to take full control. A confrontation ensued when Maria confronted William about the recorded conversations. What are you plotting with your parents, William? This house was our dream together. He smirked, attempting to dismiss her concerns. You're overreacting, Maria. Just leave everything to us. Undeterred, Maria set her plan in motion. She changed the name on the house loan without William's knowledge. The bold move was her declaration of independence, a strategic step to sever financial ties. 
In a conversation with Olivia, Maria explained her rationale. If I'm going to leave, I need to do it on my terms. This house might carry painful memories, but I won't let them control my destiny. As the days passed, Maria observed the increasing interference from William's parents, Harold and Alice, in the footage. Their actions only fueled her determination to escape the toxic entanglement. In a late-night conversation with herself, Maria muttered, I will not be a pawn in their game. It's time to craft my own destiny. Chapter 5 Facing manipulation head-on, Maria, armed with evidence from the surveillance cameras and a determination to break free, confronted the manipulative forces at play in her life. The time had come to face the web of deception head-on. One evening, as William and his parents reveled in their attempts to control the house, Maria interrupted their scheming with a steely gaze. What are you all plotting? This is my home too. William, feigning innocence, replied with a dismissive chuckle. Maria, we're just discussing how to make this house better for everyone. You don't need to be involved. Undeterred, Maria pointed at the footage on her tablet. I know exactly what you're planning. This stops now. Harold and Alice exchanged uneasy glances, their expressions betraying the knowledge that their actions had been exposed. Maria, you're overreacting. We're just trying to help, Alice stammered. In a determined tone, Maria asserted her position. Help. This is manipulation, and I won't let you control my life any longer. I've changed the name on the house loan, and I'm taking back control. The room fell silent, the tension thick in the air. Maria's declaration hung like a defiant challenge, disrupting the carefully laid plans of manipulation. In a private conversation with Olivia, Maria confided, they thought they could use our shared history against me, but I won't let them. It's time to break free, and I won't back down. As word of Maria's actions spread through the household, William's attempts to regain control became more desperate. In a heated argument, he confronted Maria. You can't just change the loan without my permission. You're ruining everything. Maria, standing her ground, replied with unwavering determination. I've had enough, William. This is my life, and I won't let you or anyone else dictate my choices. The confrontation escalated, but Maria's resolve remained unshaken. She reached out to the police, reporting the manipulative tactics and emotional abuse she had endured. The intervention marked a turning point, as the legal system became an ally in Maria's quest for freedom. Maria, though weary, standing tall against the manipulation that had plagued her life. The seeds of liberation had been sown, and Maria was ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead on her journey to independence. With the evidence gathered and a determination to break free, Maria embarked on the challenging path of legal intervention. The unfolding legal battle marked a critical juncture in her quest for liberation. After filing a report with the police, Maria sought the guidance of a legal professional. In the attorney's office, Maria recounted her tale of manipulation, emotional abuse, and the covert plans to strip her of her home. The attorney, Ms. Johnson, listened intently, her expression reflecting both sympathy and concern. Maria, what you've been through is undoubtedly difficult, but with the evidence you've collected, we have a strong case. We'll fight for your rights. Encouraged by the support, Maria braced herself for the legal proceedings. As the court date approached, tension hung in the air at home. William, realizing the gravity of the situation, attempted to sway Maria. Maria, we can work this out without involving the courts. Think about our history, pleaded William, his voice laced with desperation. Maria, resolute in her decision, responded with a firm resolve. Our history is what brought us to this point. I can't continue living in a web of manipulation and control. In a courtroom filled with the weight of their shared past, the legal battle unfolded. Maria, accompanied by her attorney, faced William and his parents in a confrontation that would determine the course of her future. 
The dialogue in the courtroom was tense, the attorneys presenting arguments, and Maria standing firm against the attempts to belittle her experiences. Her attorney, M.S. Johnson, spoke with conviction. Your Honor, we have clear evidence of emotional abuse, manipulation, and an attempt to strip my client of her rightful ownership. We seek justice for Maria. Williams' defense attorney, realizing the strength of Maria's case, attempted to negotiate a settlement. Perhaps we can find a middle ground, an arrangement that benefits both parties. Maria, fueled by a newfound sense of empowerment, shook her head. No more compromises. I want my freedom, and I want what is rightfully mine. The courtroom drama unfolded, emotions running high as the legal battle became a battlefield for Maria's independence. The judge, after careful consideration, ruled in Maria's favor, acknowledging the evidence of manipulation and abuse. As Maria left the courtroom, her steps felt lighter. The legal battle was a daunting but necessary step in her journey towards a life free from control and manipulation. The victory in court marked a turning point, propelling Maria closer to the liberation she so desperately sought. With the legal victory in her favor, Maria found herself standing at the crossroads of liberation. The court's decision granted her the opportunity to sever ties with the toxic relationships that had held her captive for so long. As Maria began the process of reclaiming her life, the tension at home reached a boiling point. William and his parents, Harold and Alice, were forced to confront the reality of the court's ruling. In a strained family meeting orchestrated by Maria, the room echoed with palpable discomfort. The court has ruled, and I am legally entitled to my share of the property. It's time for us to part ways, Maria declared, her voice steady despite the emotional turmoil. Harold, attempting to salvage some semblance of control, tried to reason with Maria. Maria, think about our family's reputation. We can still find a way to work together. Maria, tired of manipulation, shook her head. Your reputation doesn't concern me anymore. I've endured enough, and it's time for me to move forward. The echoes of Maria's decision reverberated through the house. William, realizing the futility of further resistance, begrudgingly accepted the court's ruling. Fine, take your share and leave. We'll manage without you. In a private conversation with Olivia, Maria reflected on the gravity of the moment. Severing ties is not just about property, Olivia. It's about freeing myself from the toxicity that has haunted me for far too long. As Maria packed her belongings, the house seemed to carry the weight of a tumultuous history. The remnants of her life with William were reduced to packed boxes and echoes of past conflicts. Harold, still clinging to a sense of control, attempted a last plea. Maria, reconsider. We can find a way to coexist peacefully. Maria, determined and resolute, responded with finality. Peaceful coexistence is not possible when the foundation is built on manipulation and control. It's time for a clean break. The severance of ties extended beyond the physical space. Maria changed her contact information, ensuring a barrier between herself and the lingering toxicity of her past. The legal victory, once a distant dream, now manifested in the tangible act of stepping out into a new, independent life. As she walked away from the house, Maria felt a mix of relief and sadness. Freed from the shackles of her toxic past, Maria stood at the threshold of a new chapter in her life. The echoes of the legal victory and the severance of ties lingered, but in their wake emerged the opportunity to craft a new path filled with independence and self-discovery. In her modest new residence, surrounded by the comforting familiarity of her handmade crafts, Maria felt a renewed sense of purpose. The workshop, once a sanctuary from her troubled marriage, now symbolized the forging of a new identity. Olivia, visiting Maria in her new space, marveled at the transformation. Maria, this place exudes a different energy. It's like you've woven your strength into every piece here. 
Maria smiled, gratitude and determination shining in her eyes. Crafting has always been my solace, Olivia. Now, it's also a symbol of my resilience. The crafting classes Maria conducted took on a new meaning. Her students, unaware of the battle she had fought, found inspiration in her creativity. In a heart-to-heart -heart with one of her students, Emma, Maria shared a glimpse of her journey. You're more than just a teacher, Maria. There's a depth to your craft that goes beyond the beads and threads, remarked Emma. Maria nodded, reflecting on the significance of her artistic pursuits. Crafting is not just about creating beautiful things. It's about reclaiming control, finding joy in the process, and creating a life that belongs to me. As Maria delved into her newfound independence, the blog she had started flourished. Her writing, infused with authenticity and vulnerability, resonated with readers who found solace in her journey of empowerment. One day, as Maria responded to comments on her blog, she received a message from a reader named Laura. Your story is inspiring, Maria. I see strength in every word. How did you find the courage to start anew? Maria replied, courage often emerges from adversity. I realized that I deserved a life free from control and manipulation. The first step was believing in my own strength. In a quiet moment of reflection, Maria realized that her journey was far from over. The scars of the past were healing, but the canvas of her future stretched ahead, waiting to be painted with the hues of newfound freedom. As she sat in her workshop, surrounded by the tangible evidence of her resilience, Maria whispered to herself, this is just the beginning. I'm crafting a new path, one that's entirely my own. In her small yet vibrant residence, Maria reveled in the simple pleasures of a life unburdened by manipulation and control. The walls adorned with handmade crafts became a testament to her journey, each piece representing a step toward autonomy. Olivia, witnessing Maria's metamorphosis, remarked with admiration, Maria, you've embraced independence with such grace. It's inspiring to see you bloom. Maria, gazing at the colorful tapestry of her life, replied, independence is not just about being free from someone else's control it's about discovering who i am outside the constraints of a toxic relationship as maria delved deeper into her independence she sought out new opportunities the success of her handmade crafts blog opened doors to collaborations and workshops in a conversation with a fellow artisan clara maria shared her journey of turning a passion into a livelihood it's not just about making beautiful things, it's about making a life that resonates with my authentic self," Maria explained. The echoes of her newfound independence extended to her interactions with others. A chance encounter with a friend from her past, Susan, brought forth Maria's transformation. Susan marveled at the change and inquired, Maria, you seem different. What happened? Maria, smiling, replied, I reclaimed my life. I no longer let the shadows of the past dictate my present. It's liberating. As Maria navigated the landscape of independence, the crafting classes she conducted became a source of empowerment for her students. In a candid conversation with a participant named Alex, Maria shared insights on finding strength in vulnerability. Crafting is not just about creating beautiful objects, it's about embracing the imperfect and finding beauty in the process. The same applies to life, Maria reflected. In her blog posts, Maria's writing resonated with a growing community of readers who saw a reflection of their own journeys. A comment from a reader named Michael echoed the sentiments of many, your story gives me hope that it's never too late to reclaim one's life. Thank you for sharing your journey, Maria. As Maria embraced independence, she also embraced the possibilities that lay ahead. Chapter 10, A New Beginning, in her small yet vibrant residence, Maria prepared to turn the page to a chapter unblemished by the shadows of her toxic past. The walls adorned with handmade crafts whispered tales of courage and creativity, serving as a constant reminder of the transformation she had undergone. Olivia, ever present as a pillar of support, 
joined Maria in a quiet moment of reflection. Maria, you've not only crafted beautiful pieces but also a life that radiates with authenticity. What's next for you? Maria, eyes gleaming with hope, responded, a new beginning, Olivia. I want to explore every possibility, embrace joy in the mundane, and savor the freedom to be true to myself. As Maria stepped into the next phase of her journey, she encountered new opportunities that beckoned her towards a future filled with promise. The success of her blog and crafting classes garnered attention from local media, leading to an interview request. In a conversation with the interviewer, Maria shared her story with a wider audience. Life is a canvas, and we are the artists. I've learned that sometimes, you need to wipe the slate clean to create a masterpiece. The newfound attention also brought forth connections with like-minded individuals. A fellow artisan named Rachel, inspired by Maria's journey, expressed admiration. Your resilience is a beacon for others. I hope to embark on a journey of self-discovery like you did. As Maria's story reached a broader audience, she received messages from readers who found solace in her words. A comment from a reader named Lisa resonated deeply, your journey gives me the courage to break free from my own chains. Thank you for sharing, Maria. In a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with Olivia, Maria expressed her gratitude for the support that had carried her through the storms. I couldn't have done it without you, Olivia. This new beginning is not just mine it's ours, a celebration of friendship, strength, and resilience. As Maria stepped into the dawn of a new beginning, she whispered to herself, life is a masterpiece in the making, and I'm the artist. Here's to creating a story that belongs entirely to me.